get this video the question for today how to lose okay, how to lose body or belly fat if you don't have money to maintain a diet or eat healthy and if you are on the injection uh, but try really obviously the injection here yeah, this is a lady speaking and the injection here is obviously the um, the contraceptive injection so yeah Coach Max from T Max Fit. So, first of all, let me start off by saying that I'm, I apologize for not getting into all the YouTube videos as often as I would like to. Um, I get a lot of questions on a daily basis, and this is the platform that I use to answer most of those questions because you guys have to understand I work with tens to hundreds of clients daily work with clients all over the world so my time is pretty pressed so when people inbox me and things please don't think that I'm rude because I can't reply to every single or I do reply to every single person but I can't give you the exact answers that you want for every single person because I am quite busy and it would take too much of my time to explain everything plus most of the questions that I get is uh, repetitive questions so it's better for me to use this platform use YouTube as a platform um, where I can, if you, you come onto the MaxFit page and you can actually just type in any question that you have, put MaxFit at the end of it and then you'll get the answer to it and it's there for years and years and years to come. So whenever you need to refresh my answers for your questions, then obviously you can come back here and you can come see the answer to it again. Also with that said, I want to say I've been training my one athlete, Clayton, who is now 10, no, 11 days out from his World Junior IFBB Championships. So in 11 days he'll be leaving or flying to uh, Hungary, Budapest, where he'll be representing South Africa, his country. And I just want to say thank you for all of you guys. Thank you for all your support. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Right now I'm, I'm wearing an Iron Addicts shirt, as you can see here. Uh, Iron Addicts was kind enough to uh, sponsor myself as a coach and Clayton as an athlete uh, with some clothes and they gave a, a nice donation as well. There's a couple of people who's been donating towards Clayton scores and guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We would not have come this far without you guys. You guys really have helped out Maxford a lot this year. So, to get down to this video, to get to this video, the question for today how to lose okay, how to lose body or belly fat if you don't have money to maintain a diet or eat healthy and if you are on the injection uh, but try really obviously the injection here yeah, this is a lady speaking and the injection here yeah, is obviously the um, the contraceptive injection so yeah from the injection part but try really hard with your daily stomach fitness routine. How much do you have to practice to maintain a firm body? And how long would it take to, res to see results? Okay, so I'm gonna break up this question in parts and then answer it in bits. So let's start with the first one. How to lose body or belly fat if you don't have money to maintain a diet or eat healthy? So firstly, guys, it is actually not that expensive to eat healthy. It is not that expensive. Yes, when you're living a bodybuilding lifestyle, then it can get quite expensive. And when I say bodybuilding, I mean competitive bodybuilding. When you're looking to get shredded and like have so much protein, because protein is going to be your highest or most expensive form. But I mean, chicken breasts are not going to cost you that much. If you focus on just eating chicken breasts as your chicken breasts and eggs, 
as your protein source then it should not cost you that much and start buy in bulk buy in bulk it will just help you a little bit more to um, to buy in bulk because you'll get your prices down so at the end of the day your junk food is going to cost you just as much except now when you're eating healthy you're going to be feeling better you're going to you're going to look better you're going to your confidence is going to build up uh, there was a couple of extra things onto this question that I did not add in here, but you as a person who wrote this, um, you know what I'm speaking about. You'll be able to build up your confidence and all the extra things that you said about me, it will help all of that as well. So that's the answer to your first part about eating healthy, maintaining a healthy diet. It is not that difficult. There's basics, there's like three or four, maybe five foods that you can eat on a daily basis. When you do eat like this though, I always tell my clients when you do get this strict on dieting because you don't have all the vitamins and multi, multi minerals and all of this, I do suggest from MaxFit, as I'm not taking anybody else's opinion or anything, my own opinion, you do need a multivitamin and a multi mineral so that you can make sure that there's no imbalances in your vitamin base and your mineral base. Okay, next question would be if you're on injection but try really hard with your daily stomach fitness routine. So let's stop it right there. The injection part, yes, it does play a role. Obviously anything that messes with your hormones is going to make, it's either going to improve or make it more difficult. But anything that messes with your hormones at some point is going to give you influctuations and then you will pick up weight. But that's not the end of the world. If you are training the right way, if you're eating the right way, I've had many, many clients. I won't share any of their photos or anything here because I'm not gonna, I'm not here to expose anybody. Uh, client, trainer, confidentiality. But I can say that I had many, many, many clients who were on the exact same um, or even the different uh, injections and they get really, really good results. They obviously don't get super shredded on this or I haven't seen any one of my clients who is on the injection who gets um, super shredded on it. So it does mess with your hormones but that doesn't give you an excuse to say okay because I'm on injection I'm going to be fat. That, that, there's no excuse. Then the fact that you say that you stated your, um, your daily stomach fitness routine. This is something at Maxfit as the head photo at as the head coach of Maxfit, I'm also very much against this. I do not condone my clients doing daily stomach routines. It is if you go back into my videos you'll see where I explain about getting a six pack and getting into shape. Abs are made in the kitchen. If you don't want abs at school, your stomach, your small stomach is also made in the kitchen. In order for you to get into shape, to lose that fat off your Belly, you are gonna have to eat clean. It will help if you, even if you're not eating clean in the beginning, it will help to just train harder and just do some extra cardio because at the end of the day, it's calories in versus calories out. So if you are burning more calories, obviously you'll get into better shape. But as you go along, your body will adapt, your metabolism will adapt, and then at this point, you will have to start going into the kitchen main most important thing of getting anybody into shape yeah so back to the stomach fitness routine i do not condone that people focus so hard on their stomachs because there's fat over your stomach your stomach is there now there's a fat layer over it now you're growing your stomach so then it pushes the fat on more so it makes you look even more fat so again i'll explain say this is your well let's do it this way no ah it's too difficult that way go um, so this is your your abs inside this is the fat layer on there now you're growing and making that muscle grow muscle grow muscle grow and it pushes out the fat more now you get that belly i do not condone my clients doing heavy abs and all that yes it's a, you've got to train your abs obviously your core is very important but your core is training with every single exercise because your core is what keeps your body up keeps you together so I wouldn't say that you should have a stomach fitness routine. You should have a whole body fitness routine. And this is something also that you can go back into other videos of mine where I've explained how the fat comes off the body and how you need to do full body training in order to lose that fat. 
to move on it says but Charlie on the okay how much do you have to practice to maintain a firm body and how long would it take to see results so firstly each person is different so to see results with max fit you 70% of the time 60 let's make it 60% 60% of the time I get results with people after one week because if you listen to my advice if you follow what I tell you to eat follow the way I tell you to train if you follow the way I try I tell you to work with your mindset if you follow everything that I say then I guarantee one week one week I already get changes from everybody but not everybody can put in that much discipline it's not that easy to be that disciplined it's not that easy to put in that amount of hours it's not that easy to do everything so I believe in baby steps so I wouldn't say rush for one week but you can get results in one week I've proven it over and over and over we now have 106 um, transformations in the past year or something yeah yeah just over a year we've got 106 some transformations and you can go onto the maxfit pages and go see all the transformations and you can see how many times it's only taken one week but there are also people who has been with me for four five six months and it takes a little bit longer this game is a game of consistency i've been in the game for many 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 years and i'm still improving as we go along so yes for the results don't focus that much on results or not that you shouldn't focus on results you shouldn't focus on rushing it it should be a lifestyle for you you should next week look better and the week look better and the week look better and continue on like that and don't be hard on yourself with the results part gone um how much do you have to practice to maintain a firm body there is not an exact given time for that but i would say i don't allow any of my clients to train less than 45 minutes a day People come up with all these magic things of 10 minute workouts, 20 minute workouts, not with MaxFit. I'm so sorry, I do not condone that. With MaxFit, when people come to me and ask me questions, I answer from the base of how I train my clients. I myself, as the head coach of MaxFit, how we do things. I'm not going to listen to what other people say, because if that's what you want, then you should be asking somebody else. But with MaxFit, we refuse to do it that way. 45 minutes at least and in 45 minutes I've trained like I said I train many 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 people in the 45 minutes to an hour a day Many of my clients are in great shape now it depends again. What do you want to be? Do you want to look good? Or do you want to get into the bodybuilding shredded look? Then I would say it's gonna cost you more than an hour then you go to two three four hours This is what I do with my athletes who go on stage and all of that so, I know this video was a little bit long, but I had to answer all the questions and get through everything. So guys, if you have questions, feel free to message me or it would actually be better because Maxford is changing now at the moment. Actually be better to follow Jade Kruger, uh, follow on Instagram, follow um, on Facebook. Uh, you'll find a WhatsApp number somewhere there and you can message her at any time because she is my girlfriend yes but she's also my pa so she runs everything for me and all the questions that you guys want from me she'll put it through the system and it will eventually come to me and then i can answer your things but you can message me by all means just be patient as i said i've got a lot of work to do i've got a lot of athletes who i need to train lots of things going on for max but it's exploding it's getting huge all thanks to you guys so guys stay tuned and thank you so much for all the support cheers Thank you.